Hello boys and girls, welcome to another video. This time a bit more interesting, no repairs. First autocross of the season, a late one, but still. So this video is a bit longer than usual, but I thought for those who don't know or never been to an autocross, this will show you how the whole, more or less, how the whole day looks like. Now it was a very, very hot day and a humid day and they actually reduced the number of runs on the second half of the day and I didn't even do all of the runs at the end of the day because it was just too hot I just I just left basically but as you can see I am preparing for a track day which is the last event of the season it's a gingerman raceway in Michigan that's where I'm going uh, in a few days and again, I'm way behind on this video too, so behind that it's gotten cold, actually. It's October now. So guys, subscribe, like, dislike, comment, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And enjoy the video. Hey guys, we're at a, at a first autocross this year, in a year, 11 months or so. I just registered, car is somewhat ready. It's, uh, it's a huge parking lot, well, semi-huge. I'm gonna walk the track. Oh! Oh, okay, they're calling the novice drivers. So I'm gonna walk the track and I'm gonna speed through it. Okay, we gotta get off. Already confused, walking and confused already. It's this? Okay, this guy. This is the cone guy. He's gonna do a test drive, test run. I'd say it's a medium fast track, which is cool for all the bigger cars. This is a Windy City Miata Club. All right, so let's walk the track. So this, this cone here basically means keep to the left. This is, you know, keep or straight through. I'm gonna keep walking. Then you can, I guess you can take it wide or break early. It's your choice, either keep on the right or stay tight on the left. And we're gonna make a left. I would probably keep wide over here. Just to cut this corner, keep closer to the left side over here or the right side of the cone. Because the next turn is, is a right turn. So you wanna make it uh, tight, chicane kinda. Kind of a wavy straight over here. I'm most likely gonna keep tight right here, close to this cone here. It is windy, I have no idea how it's affecting the sound right now. A lot of, I just felt a, a rock. So obviously, again, the, the cone on its side, it's, it's basically an, an arrow. That's where you keep. Now, it's good to uh, be uh, either, either working or resting. Actually, working the first time. It's three shifts. You either work, rest, or race. So, okay, we're going to, again, we're going to swoop around here. So it's a, if you have the option to, well, they choose it for you, but if you have the option to work the first shift, then you can watch the cars. I kind of, kind of learned the track from watching. You know, when you're working, you're in the middle of the track. And it's much easier to see what others are doing. And then you, uh, they create new tracks. Like this is probably from last week or two weeks ago. I don't know if you see these, these lines yet. Yeah, see, this is way off. We're gonna make new lines 
right over there. And if you're a new man, you're gonna get confused. There's just no way about it. And go slow. First few times. If you go crazy, you're gonna miss the track and get in DNF. So here, a wide area. I'm just gonna keep going most likely to keep to the left and then start going straight here or maybe start going to the right because I then I see another turn left okay never mind yeah you see how, how how confusing if you're if you're watching the cars race from uh, like the stands or whatever then you're not gonna see what the hell they're doing, where they're going. You're not gonna learn the track this way. Oh no, I got 10% of battery life left. Not prepared. Alright, so this is pretty straightforward. A U-turn. And these cones show you where to go. So this parking lot, most of them, if you're doing autocross, they are bumpy, so you want to have soft suspension. We got a plane. So here, this is a, a special for the Miaras, and there is many here today. Probably 20, about 75 cars or so, and out of those 75, we have at least 20, maybe maybe even 30 Miaras, and that's the tight part of the course this entrance here and the exit here we have the cars so a tight right out of this garage is what they call it or a box or actually a rectangular in, in this situation Are we getting conf confused or what? No. This is a kind of a long track. It's probably going to be about 50 some uh, seconds for a good time. Low 50s, mid 50s, I'm guessing right now. Another box. And these guys are walking too slow. So this is the edge of the parking lot. And look at all this. So if you knock a cone down, then it's one second. If you just touch it, but, it's, but it lands on its side, it's one second. One or two seconds, I can't remember. If uh, some of these have boxes drawn around them, if you, even if it's, you knock it over and it flips over, you know, 10,000 times and it lands on its, on its feet, then it's no time taken away. Uh, as long as it's touching the box, which it was in. If you miss a turn, then that's DNF, obviously. And this would be the finish, and guess what? My car is right in the, at the end of it. Uh, I'm gonna have to change my parking spot. You see it there? Right there. Mm -hmm, it's looking nice. Do I hear a motorcycle? Yeah, I do. So this is the stopping box. And I guess the timer, they're going to set up the timer. Oh, no, there is a timer over over there. No, that's a... Where was Did I miss the timer? They're probably going to still set it up. Yeah, so there's a time. I don't know if you see there's that red uh, sign there. Or post with the uh, numbers there. Yeah, they're going to have to set something up over here. And that's going to be the finish. So this is my recording studio on wheels let's look at the track 
So actually, as I am parked, the truck is behind me. I actually, I switched places because that that was the finishing line, and I was right in front of it, or at the end of it, I should say. So as we were walking, start, swoop around, around, back through the same gate, then a kind of a fast chicane, I guess. Another turn. This is a kind of a fast to medium track, which should be fun for all of us. They used to do, a few years ago, they used to do these tight courses for the Miaras, but then the guys in the Mustangs and Camaros would be mad. <laughs> so now they're trying to go 50 50 for everybody. Let me show you what the percentage of the ethanol reads right now. We're at 80 degrees so far, it's supposed to get to 90, and we are at 62% ethanol. Could be better, but it's not bad. My uh, water tank in the trunk is full, that's, that's stuck by the way, this blue button here stuck in the STIs, I don't know about the new STIs, but uh, starting in 05 I think had a um, intercooler sprayer but that would you, you would you would press that and it would last for maybe five seconds or so maybe longer I can't remember but I made a switch and you just flip that on and it keeps going until you turn it off that's the access port that's still from the 2.0 which didn't have a power button this one does somewhere yeah on top right here uh, whatever still keeping this and that's the racket which we're not going to use today because they will just throw me out because it's way too loud for this I, th I think they're allowing 100 decibels but you know there are exceptions maybe 105 is the exception all right guys i'm gonna go walk the track one more time and uh there's gonna be a driver's meeting soon i suppose it's mandatory for everybody if you're new or it's been doing been doing this for 20 years you got to go to the meeting every time so the meeting is done it's it was too long 30 minutes or so i walked the track once before the meeting and i'm slowly cooking i'm gonna be uh, well done by the time this is over and it's just it's humid it's bad anyways it's bad for you imagine how bad it is for your car engine brakes you know especially car especially engine and good news i am working first then i'm i forgot what i'm then i'm resting and then i'm racing which means the second half of the day i'm doing the same thing i'm working resting and racing and well that that's that's good if you want to be competitive and learn the track better because you know you're gonna i'm gonna be standing out out there and, and watching the cars as i mentioned before uh, what corners then they take and whatever so right now they're actually people are lining up uh, but if you were to rest on your third shift for example then you you can just go home you know if you don't want to wait for the for the uh, results you can always check them online i think two days later or whatever and the little correction it's two seconds if you knock down a cone not one all right guys i'm gonna see you on the track this is our corner over here that's the the first box and there's the second box right there somewhere they're gonna do the finish that's the stop sign there so we're gonna be watching cars going it's the start somewhere there I'm gonna go swoop around come over here actually go here you can see the cone to them it's going to be a right turn and a left turn and into the box out of the box right there and left just me all right let's see and i got a report back station four can you hear me now yeah yeah can you, can you hear me yeah we're good all right I don't want to be the walkie-talkie guy and we got a red flag if uh, a car you know something happens you wave the flag for the others 
to slow down. All right, I'm probably not going to record or talk uh, once the cars get going. I'm just going to show some cars. That's it. First car, I'm actually by myself. The guys spread out. Usually there's two, three, four guys on one corner. Where's the timer? Oh, over there, okay. All right, so right, right by those two big cones there. So that box, that's just a stopping box. And then you can uh, listen through the walkie-talkie over there, that's by the stop sign, for your time. If you don't see, and there we go, I guess he had to turn it on. If you can't see the time, which is 62 seconds, that's over a minute. All right, it's gonna get, I'm telling you, it's gonna be low 50s by the end of the day. So this guy there in the blue shirt, that's my corner guy, and this guy here. Okay, we got a Subaru. Oh, he almost missed. No, no, maybe not. F1 car or it could be an Indy car without the spoiler I don't know but it sounds good did he miss the track yeah he missed DNF I think yeah he got lost you see oh two cones there that's a DNF. That's a miss. He went too wide. See all these people? <laughs> first runs. Almost every single, every single guy now. Except the first Miara didn't make a... are making mistakes. Except the Miara. And we got a Tesla. Oh! oh. <laughs> you know, I'm laughing over here, but I wonder how I'm gonna do. I haven't done this in 11 months. Uh, this car is too quiet for me to record it. This guy know what what knows what he's doing. I think I've seen this guy before. Yeah, everybody's going slow. got a WRX 07 I think yeah I'm getting confused there like most yeah everybody's going super slow so this Miata is officially the fastest car so far. Let's see what he gets now. And finish. 57.4.
Next up is a uh, white WRX, which has 58.7 or 5. And then another Miara. Not that one. Jesus, this cor This Corvette, man. Sounds like it's broken. Uh, that guy, uh, that's a DNF. Anyways, I'm gonna film the WRX. So over there, right there, at left turn, you can either go tight or wide. Cone, might be safe. That's a 57.8. So plus two seconds for that cone doesn't well here I think he had a better time. Sixty-two point point one, basically. All right, group number two is lining up, which means somebody's gonna come by and replace me soon. I hope. I've been standing here for one hour. Then I'm probably gonna go jump into that lake over there. Just noticed. Little weight reduction. This is my spot. Where is my banana? There you are. Alright guys, I don't know if you can hear me. We are lining up. I'm in group 3 by the way, that's why it's like 12 o'clock right now. So it took a while. But I got good news, I found my Home Depot racing gloves. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the track. five seconds which is super slow but it was a clean run no cones were harmed during this race <laughs> watching the oil temp closely we're at 205 maybe coolant is 207 I'm gonna spray the inner cooler this time
62. So 62 sec uh, point five. I can't, I can't hear the so much noise over here, and the clock is not working. But I'm flying the seat. I need to get uh, racing seats, or at least one. Five seconds behind the fastest car. I'm gonna go play with the air pressure. the camera under the seat or the phone it's actually a phone I'm recording uh, from the phone and I did a 58.9 just now I didn't I forgot to oh no, no issues no issues I forgot to hit record on the front camera I actually heard a, a rattle that's where the confusion came from and I actually pulled off to the parking lot and looked for the rattle they didn't want something to you know go loose and break on me or and whatnot and it was the uh, cut piece of rubber hose that came off the top strut bar under the hood uh, and it was rubbing it on the, the intercooler was rubbing on it it was like it was it was uh, rattling other than that oil temp never hit to 20 215 seems uh, seems to stop at 215. Coolant is 194. Intake temp is 180. What's up? Last one, yeah. Last one? Yeah. Thank you. I hope this will not fall out again. Last round number six of the first half. <laughs>
58.3, bass was 58.9. I can hear the rear diff making a lot of noise. Oil temp 219. So we are back working, the clock is not working, so I can't tell you the times. I have no idea what the best is right now. It was 57.1 last time. My best was 58.9. So right now we have uh, group number one going again. So at this time, you know, everybody's going the second time. This is this is the this is the start of it. And it was six runs. Each group gets six runs. quick all right guys this is uh, second half first run only four this time they decided to cut the day short because of the weather it is 97 at least that's what my thing says probably 95 92 I don't know but it's it's hot hot enough to go home how you doing all right so we're getting four runs this afternoon yep thank god this is something right <laughs> So go this way? Yeah, go that way. Why? Did they say why? Getting a rerun, not sure why. I DNF'd. I, I don't know. I didn't see it. It was a DNF, I don't know why. What's it? It was a DNF, I don't know why. Oh. And then the guy told me it's a rerun, but I don't, I don't care. You got to said it was a rerun? That guy said it was a rerun, but I don't, I don't care. I don't care. Put okay. it put it down. Guys, I'm done.